Welcome to Hopper Food Takeover. Y'all ready? We're gonna join in Nikki Limo, our guest today. There she is. Let's bring her in. Hello. Hi! <laughs> hey, it's Tuesday. You're watching Hopper Food. Show and it's Tuesday. Tasty Tasty Tasty. Tuesday. You're too tall. This Steve is trying to hold the. Hi, <laughs> I'm tall. Hi, Steve. Hi, this girl. Is tall. How you doing? This is Lauren. Nice to meet you, Lauren. Finally. Nice to meet you. It's I... That is way above my head. I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess that's not going to work. Oh, yeah. Well, you guys are all set up. You got a ring light. You're so right? pro. Our neighbors think we do porn. They do. <laughs> it's very true. In the time of COVID, you can't put that out of, off the table, really. Very true. <laughs> true. Well, I, I think the porn industry, as long as they're work from home, they're totally killing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think everyone's really excited you're here. Nikki Me Limo, too. she has been making some of my recipes on Tasty Tuesday. If you haven't watched those on YouTube, you should watch them because they're okay. really funny. Um, I have a little bit of a dr Oh, thank you. Thank you. Plug, plug, plug. <laughs> I make recipes plug. out of a really, really cool cookbook. Plug it. Plug it. I found this. You just found it. Yeah, I just found it. Found <laughs> Um, are you excited to cook on the fly? I am so excited because this is the only, this is the thing that I cannot do. I'm, I feel like I'm pretty confident with following recipes now. When I first started doing Tasty Tuesday, I had no idea what any utensil did in the kitchen. Yeah. But I feel like I can follow a recipe. I just have no idea when I'm looking at ingredients how to put them and make it into a meal. All right. What were you making earlier? You were pan frying some Brussels. Yes. Yes, I was making, okay, hold on. This is not a plug or a sponsor. <laughs> I just sincerely need help in the kitchen. So, um, oh, that's not it. Um, there's this new service that I signed up for. I don't know what the thing is, but it's, uh, it's called Hungry Root. And no code, there's no sponsorship going on here. But it, I got an ad off of Instagram, and it basically goes grocery shopping for you with any diet. So you could be vegan, you could be you know, pescatarian, you could be a car, whatever you are, it, it, you mark the boxes, and then it sends you a whole week of groceries, and then a bunch of recipes that you could use with those groceries. So I was trying out one of the recipes. It was pretty good. Yeah. Um, it was only three ingredients. It was already prepped for me, so. Three ingredients. I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you we'll be using triple that today, at least. <laughs> <laughs> yes, nine ingredients. I can't stick to like these five ingredient or less recipes. I can't do those. Okay, so I say three ingredients, but like some of them were already cooked. Like one of the ingredients was pre-cooked ravioli. So it was already like stuffed with dairy-free cheese and uh, spinach. It was Kite Hill's uh, ravioli. Perfect. So, yeah, so it's a cheat. Well, we can definitely do some cheats today. I'm so curious to see, other than those 50 oranges there, what else you have in here. Yeah, let's go on a tour really quick. Okay, yeah. so we have 50 oranges, um, some pretty bad looking limes, like some pretty uh, malnourished They look limes. like avocados now. Uh, yeah. These are, these are avocados. Just you might have to use that rotten lime. <laughs> <laughs> because it's still good? I, we can get something out of it, yeah. Okay, we do have great right, fresh limes too okay okay there's we're not, one we're not garbage people this do you is... have an orange tree we don't uh we have a costco membership oh okay great. which is just as good um this huge stock of groceries that yeah I... this is great so i see some hot is that frank's red hot i see some dijon yes some dijon some spaghetti sauce mm. some um we got some sun-dried tomatoes in here some oh these are vitamins some cocoa powder some okay. coconut oil there is absolutely no order to this madness it's just we as soon as we got notified about the lockdown we just stocked up on like canned goods and things and there's stuff in here from forever ago what's in the fridge the fridge okay yeah. I'm glad you asked oh yeah by the way there's like jackfruit and okay sauce there's all there's garbanzo beans there's all kinds of stuff in there. okay and i saw um, some green beans oh so wow the fridge is a lot of leftover like half eaten brown rice from um when we eat type when we order thai food uh we do have some gnocchi in here dairy-free butter okay um, love that butter yeah beyond meat. burgers beyond burgers we got some beyond sausages we got um 
This is some braised, there was some savory spiced tofu bits. Hmm. What's in that Tupperware in the middle shelf? This one? Yeah. No, oh, and, uh, that one today. and the other one. And you want to see what, what it was? No, this one, this one. Oh, okay. Well, what both. I wanted to show off, what I, what I made. It's the Brussels sprouts and um, ravioli with a beet pesto. That looks yeah, good. Sprouts. Thank you. Shut up. <laughs> well, okay, so we can't make any pasta because you already ate pasta. Yeah. We got some, what is this? What is that? Seven grain blend. Rice? I guess it's rice, yeah. Some sort of rice. Okay, the other Tupperware, is that sweet potato or something? Oh, they are sweet potatoes, but I cooked these last week, and I feel like they were already starting to go bad, and when, I don't know, they tasted off, so I just, you know, did what every normal human does and left them in my fridge. <laughs> I <thought that laughs> just would, ignored it. That would be like a perfect thing to do, to use, but you think they actually might be bad, eh? Yeah, I don't think they, they taste weird. Because I would like bite them. I'm like, maybe this one. <laughs> and I'm like, no. Nope. She's trash, guys. She's such trash. I'm a garbage person. Oh, no. Well, you should just throw those out, even though I hate throwing food out. But if, you, if you're not going to eat them, then no. It's you just got shame. It's shame on you. <laughs> I wait till my food is a science project before I throw it out. It has some bell peppers, some heat snaps. Oh, my God. Okay. What are we going to make, Nikki? What do you, what do you feel like? No, you know, I'm not a picky eater at all. Mm. Steve, what do you feel like? You're the taste I, I feel like guy. I feel like energy drink soup. <laughs> okay. Dude, Steve, if he had it his way, he'd just make Tabasco soup every single day. True. Tabasco soup. Anything huh. he makes, he just drenches in Tabasco. I would drench her in Tabasco if I could like that. That's mean. Should we do something with, like, your takeout? Like, the rice? Is it just plain rice? It is just plain brown rice. Plain do you think you're going to eat it with anything else? Um, probably not. Like, we have a collection. Yeah, this is what I like. So you ha that's like what I would have. I'd have all this, I'd o you know how you over-order the rice because you're yes. afraid you won't have enough? That's what you did. And then you just keep ordering sides of it and you forget that you have other sides left of it? Yeah, yeah. We should do something with that rice. Okay. Actually, you know what? I did something kind of like this on a video that I'm going to put out in a couple weeks, but I took leftover rice and I did like a sushi bowl. So I seasoned the rice Ooh. and heated it up. And then I like basically made like a sushi salad bowl. Oh, that sounds delightful. Which that could be fun. We could show people how to do that before I show them how to do it with my <laughs> leftovers. You could plug and watch like someone that has the good rice do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or we could do like a fried rice or rice. Yeah. Rice. Yeah. I, guess I, I feel like I normally wait and, and then I do the, uh, I'll make a fried rice here and there if we're really running low um, on things. I, well, how do you feel? What do, do you have stuff we could maybe season the rice with? Like things oh, like... We have... Um, like, do you have dried broth? seaweed? We have broth and broth? stuff. Broth, yeah. Oh, is that that miso broth from Trader Joe's? Yeah, I bought it and I didn't know what to do with it, but it looked like you could do something with it, so I just bought it and then I didn't know what to do with it. Yeah, I wonder if we could make like, I mean, soup seems kind of weird to make right now because it's hot. That's true. What did you have for veggies? You had peppers, you had... We have bell peppers, we have broccolini. Yeah, we have, you had... oh, what do we have in here? We have uh, uh, some like mixed veggies. Oh, do you have frozen edamame beans? Don't have frozen edamame. <laughs> okay. Wish. I feel like a lot of this is freezer burn. <laughs> You're terrible. Oh, absolutely. Why are we so terrible? Yeah, yeah. it's bad. You know why? Because we get takeout all the time while we still have this. That's true. That's true. That's I true. buy things thinking I'm going to cook, and then I don't cook them, and then I just buy, like, meal kits instead. Yeah, yeah. I, um, feel, like, I feel like we could – oh, wow, like, that thing's about to, like, explode. <laughs> this up. used to be organized. <laughs> I swear. This is we my favorite so part. Is going to <laughs> We got oh, so wow. much tortillas and we don't use them. Why? Oh my God! Do we Why need do to we... make like a burrito of some kind? You have so many tortillas. I know. What? What's the deal? It's we both went to the store and bought tortillas during the pandemic, and then we just were like, I don't know. We weren't on the same page that day. No. Um, sunflowers? Um, do you have sunflowers? I mean, uh, sesame seeds. Se yes, we have sesame seeds. All right. Okay. I feel like. I feel like we should maybe, if you have like, you have rice vinegar, soy sauce. Dry, yes. do, you have, do you have seaweed or seaweed snacks? Oh, wait, let me see. Hold on. This is nori. Oh, nori. That's like, uh, is that like sushi? It is. I at one point thought I was going to make some sushi 
it, it feels puffy here. Why are you puffy? Are you bad? Oh, it's Best Buy uh, October 13th, 2020. Oh my God. And it's closed? Yeah, it's closed. We've never oh. opened it. Yeah, I was gonna say we can make sushi burritos, but I like the idea of a bowl because it's a little easier just throwing things together instead of trying to like form this whole thing. Yeah. Okay, let's try some sushi bowls. So that you look like you have so much rice. Like we shouldn't be seasoning all the rice. Save some for stir fry. I have so much rice and then so much raw rice, like you know, yeah, just bags of rice, every so kind of rice. Try, so how about in a in um a bowl? Do you have a microwave? I do. It hates me, but we're it's oh, there. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking like in in a bowl where you can put like as much rice as you think you and Steve will eat in in the bowl, and then we'll season it, and then we'll heat it up. Okay. And then we'll also kind of like slice up your avocado, your pepper. We'll do something maybe with your tofu for the bowl, and then okay. we'll just kind of assemble like a quick sushi bowl that's hopefully very flavorful, and maybe we'll make a sauce to go on it. I think like we could even maybe cr not crumble, but like cut those like a sheet of that seaweed and like um, heat it up with the rice. Steve, does this sound like a good tasty idea for you, or what do you think? It does, but like an Animal Planet documentarian, I refuse to interfere. Okay, okay, okay. I can only film. I cannot interfere. Okay. At the end, though, I'd like you to taste with me. You know? Of course. Some wild recipes before. Oh yeah, all kinds. Yeah. Grapefruit chicken made out of grapefruit peels. That was the worst one I think. Ever. Oh, that the whole one. thing. I. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have like yeah soy sauce, if you have rice vinegar. Yep, I got um, coconut aminos. Liquid aminos. Where did that soy sauce go? I mean, we just used it. You could even add like, do you like wasabi? We do have wasabi paste. Interesting. We could maybe make like a wasabi dressing. Steve loves wasabi. I love that wasabi. Do you have vegan oh. mayonnaise? We do. Oh, mm. look, you're well stocked. So we are going to make vegan Thank vegan you. wasabi mayo dressing for this sushi bowl. Yes. Bite. Now, how do we feel? What about in the rice? Okay, I just saw you had garlic. We could put, but it's not going to get cooked in the microwave. I would be inclined to put, like, either a little bit of minced garlic in the rice or garlic powder. Okay. Do you have a preference based on your taste? Like raw, like the garlic, if we just microwave the rice, might not get that great. And oh, I'm trying, true, true. I'm trying to avoid you having to like cook rice on the stove. Oh, wow. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe just some garlic powder. Okay. So let's start seasoning. Okay. Garlic powder. Um, Steve, you're going to have to. Oh, powder. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> That you can't be standing out at that her for a second. Okay, so just leave it at that in case you, I don't want you to overdo it. Just leave it at that. There's no such thing. Oh, okay. Well, if you want to go more, you can. <laughs> I just saw it, like, really spill out there. Yeah, oh, yes. That looks good. And That's then some, bro. Dang. some soy sauce. Soy sauce. Shit. How much do you think? Like a tablespoon? Yes. Or like a half a tablespoon? We'll just kind of, like... Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, we could also put, um, what was I saying? A bit of rice vinegar. So yeah, like half the amount of the soy sauce as the vinegar, like a, just a dash, like a okay. little. There you go. Yeah, yeah, let's start there. Yeah, we okay. have it. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, some seaweed and maybe a little bit of sesame oil. Do you have sesame oh, oil? Oh, sesame oil, yeah. Again, just a little, small little. You want sesame seeds and sesame Yeah, oil? let's throw some sesame oh, seeds. Let's go crazy. It's a sesame party. Yeah. Oh, can I need help? Oh, my God. <laughs> Can't interfere. It's because um, the salons have been closed, so my nails are gigantic. They're so long now. And I oh, yeah, those aren't it. cooking nails. <laughs> They're so long. They get in the way of my leg. What's the difference between sesame oil and black sesame oil? Ooh, let's use black sesame oil, because I feel like it might be more flavorful. I think... That's just yeah. using black sesame seeds. It smells good. Yeah, I got both. Could dress it up. Got both. Great. Okay. <laughs> Throw it in. Well, okay, with the oil, just do a small drizzle, like okay. less than you had for the soy sauce, because it's maybe a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All and right. Then, we'll get some seeds. Yeah, as many as you feel you would like, but so you can see them in there. Okay. I mean, those this, is a, 
when I make fried rice, this is like my, my topper where I'm like, yeah. it all comes together now. Just sesame seeds. Now you're going to see it all flecked in there no matter what. So that's good. We can always add more on the top. Yeah. How about Did you want me to add one? Uh, not to this. We're going to use that for the dressing. Oh, right, right, right. So yeah, mix that up. Oh, let's add some of that. Could you open that seaweed or was that? Oh yeah, the seaweed, the seaweed. Thing. I just thought if we, if we, like yeah, just tear, it? tear it. Yeah, tear it. Okay. Because it's going to get soft and mixed in anyway. Right. Small, yeah, smallish pieces, yeah. Little chunky monkeys. Okay. Why not? That looks good. Now, we'll mix it, and then we won't uh, microwave it yet, because that's the easiest part. You still have more prep work to do, so. Oh, yay. You got to you gotta cut all your veg, and, and then that tofu, do you want to use those tofu things you had in the Yeah. Bag? Maybe you should. Those tofu bites, and we also have, uh, like, regular soft tofu in there. Um, Are the tofu bites seasoned? I think so. Yeah. yeah let's, let's they look those. seasoned. Yeah, let's those use good. those. And I think you might – have you used them before? Do you pan fry them, or do you bake No, them? I've never used them before. Well, I'm more of a pan fry kind of person. Okay. I like pan fry. Yeah. I think it's quicker sometimes, too, to get it crispy. Yeah. That's good. You're also going to add just a smidge of water in there so that when you microwave it, it kind of steams it. Oh, rice, good idea. Yeah, rice gets really hard. Yeah, like a little bit. This is yeah, like yeah. One third cup, like so one sixth a cup. Yeah, like that's all you really need. It's just to steam it. Now, if you, has, okay. as best as you can, stir that up a little bit. Okay. You know, it's probably hard. It is kind of hard, but it's like more separated than when you get it out of the rice cooker. You know how yeah. that next day rice? I think that's going to be good. Okay, so once you stir that, you can just set it aside for a minute, and then we won't forget to microwave it before uh, <laughs> you eat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are people saying? Oh, there's a, lot, there's a lot of comments. What are you saying about us? People are saying put it in the oven, but honestly, the microwave, I love the microwave. I'm cool with the microwave if you are. Um, Lauren, have you watched any Tasty Tuesdays? Clothes? <laughs> I, I just like the microwave is so fast. I don't know. Mine's even like really hot. Like I can even put like a cup of leftover coffee for like 20 seconds and it gets so hot. I, like, if my microwave explodes today, well, one, it's great entertainment. Um, but two, uh, I know I have a trick that you could use where we put a little like ramekin of uh, water in there too, and it makes it not explode. Why? What does it do? It explodes. <laughs> it has a mind of its own. We think oh, it became self-aware. It's angry at some foods. Oh, that's something some foods scary. It's totally with, but some foods, it's mad. We think it doesn't like to be a microwave anymore. I think it mostly happens when there's like a high level of fat in there, like um, an oil or, or something. Um, but when there's like less water in there, like or less like liquid. Okay. I don't know the science behind it, but. One of our physicist friends, or engineering friends, I don't know what he does, but he's a sciencey kind of guy, and he was like, you can put a little cup of water in there, and it never exploded again. Weird. Yeah. Some savory spiced tofu bites. That looks good. All right. Let's see what's happening in the package and how big those pieces are. Should I, I should have not put oil on there, right? I think it's, like, got enough oil seasoning. If, yeah, well... When you open that, see if it's oily. If if not, you might have to add a little bit. But that looks like a nonstick pan, so you don't really need to. My favorite thing about when you cook, well, I know you cook other people's recipes, but when I watch you cook mine, and I, and I always say, finely chop, and then you're like, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. it's finely even a technical term, but it actually is, which I, I've learned now from, like, writing a book that finely chopped is a real thing. It's like there's a certain measurement that, that uh, defines fine. <laughs> well, yeah, because there's like finely chopped. There's like medium dice. There's oh, like. Oh, I know, Lauren. Yeah. That's why I'm so confused about it. Like, why? <laughs> why? Wait, what it? just went in the pan? What's happening? Are they all? <laughs> I think they're already in pieces. So it's kind of like. All right. Cool. Well, we'll just fry it to make it taste better and get hopefully a yeah. little bit like. Is it like as firm as like? Feta? Is it very firm? Um, it is like, yeah, it's pretty firm. Um, Ooh, I don't know. Okay. It's like when you get the the vacuum sealed ones at Trader Joe's that are, yeah, they're like pretty firm. What? Okay, can you taste it? What does it taste like? Oh yeah, good call. 
It tastes like it tastes like the the uh, Trader Joe's like firm tofu in the vacuum sealed thing. Um, is that tasty? Flavored one, though. Is that it's really tasty? good? Okay, so it doesn't yeah. need more taste. I don't think so. Okay. If anything, maybe a little soy sauce, but it's um, it's not that salty. But it's yeah. got a lot of flavor. If you want to add a dash of soy sauce at the end, we can do that. But like, just get it kind of try to get like a nice crispy thing going on it. Okay. Oh, when you felt it, did it feel oily? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Be oily. Uh, you said you had like pepper, like whatever bell pepper you want to put in the bowl. Bell pepper? Yeah. We'll do a thinly sliced pepper. We'll see if I know what that means. Okay. What colors do you have in there? All the colors. But these are kind of old. Oh my oh, god. No. Mold color. Oh no. Oh no. Put them away. Not that one. Yeah, ignore it. Ignore it. We have these for colors. Right. Look, you've every, we're just making your meal kit at this point. <laughs> <laughs> just plugging this brand that's not sponsored. Were you supposed to use these for recipes or you can do whatever you want? No, it's kind of like you, it's a free for all. They like give recipe suggestions, but they just kind of like do your grocery shopping for the yeah. week and then like have recipes that have these ingredients in it. Like, so it's not like HelloFresh or one of those meal kit services. It's more just like, hey, here are groceries that you probably buy, excluding like staples, like milk or yeah. milk or, you know, whatever other staples, what other staples are there in life? <laughs> are those peppers and onions? Yeah. Well, I wonder if we should, we should cook those maybe. Oh, yeah, true. Or, I don't know. I mean, here's we the thing. We can pick the peppers out. Yeah, Peter do that. Pepper, pick pick yeah, pick the peppers out that you want in the bowl raw, and then cut them even thinner, because those look too thick to me. That's true. They be, they be looking thick, girl. They're thick, yeah. Green and red, whatever you want to eat in the in the sushi bowl. I love food in general, so when you give me options, I'm like, all. Oh, do all. You could even do a dice. Do you want to do a dice instead yeah, of a slice? Dice. That sounds easy so not a fine dice but like a medium dice <laughs> all right so we're just gonna yeah like that yeah like that yep again you know what the fingernails are good for is protecting you against this knife <laughs> that is actually it's a knife guard <laughs> yeah it's a knife guard yeah perfect and then avocado did you have what other vegetables did you have again um we have broccolini we have did you want to see the frozen ones or the regular ones we have pea snaps and broccolini. Oh, pea oh, no, snaps it's not broccolini. are like sweet baby broccoli. No, I think you should save that. But pea snaps, I think if you cut the pea snaps into again a medium dice, I would. I mean, I think the taste. Okay. Yay. And then those, I like eating those just straight up as a snack. Make sure, but... Make sure these don't stick. Oh yeah. Oops. Sorry, we forgot about you. I know, but I couldn't interfere. We love you, though. It's actually getting crispy that way, though. That's good, yeah. Uh -huh. I always add oil, but... Yes, I like Liz's idea. I was going to say corn. You have frozen corn, right? Oh, yeah, we do. So that's a good one. You can just put... Well, we don't have to use the microwave. Or do you have a kettle of water you can boil? Uh, yeah, right here. Because we can just put hot water over the frozen corn and then drain it. Oh, right, right. Look at that massive chunk they gave you. What is that? Know, what is this? That one should be cut more. Chunky boy. And then you can just do however much you think you'll eat in the bowl. So picture like we're going to put the rice in the center and then all the little toppings around it. Okay. I like the presentation. Of I'm basically getting you to make a similar version of what I did make in this video that won't come up for a while, but I was just using leftovers as well. Nice. Well, I'm like a... I'm a little, like, I was going to say a guinea pig, but then you already did it, so I'm not a guinea pig. Yeah, but this is, like, now just another like variation of the same thing, so it's kind of cool. Yeah. Someone said, I run my corn under hot tap water for a minute and then strain. Yeah, you could do that, too. So, where are you, corn? You're, you're, you're up. Get in here. We got super sweet corn. Yes, yeah, sweet. I mean, I like sweet corn, whichever one. It's yeah, is that more. a new so bag? Yeah. Nice in there. <laughs> and then only put what you'll eat in there. Okay. Well, okay, not too bad. I, I feel like if people 
people who came from your channel who don't know what they're doing, this is Hot for Food Takeover, where I help someone cook in their kitchen with whatever they have lying around. I've made so many delicious Hot for Food recipes, and they've all turned out so good. I always get nervous, though, when you're like, hey, we'll see, we'll see. I know, right? I'm always like, oh, shit, what if it actually is bad and they say it's bad? <laughs> I do, too, because, like, um... I used to, you know, just pick random recipes off the internet, but it wasn't like YouTubers. So if it didn't taste good, like it, I didn't feel bad about it not tasting good. But then when like I started to get to know a lot of the people that I was doing repeat recipes from, I'm like, well, I trust them because they make good recipes. But like also, you know, if it doesn't work, I'm going to just take responsibility that I probably did something wrong. <laughs> And that's sometimes the problem with, that'll probably just fall while we keep going. If it's not, we can just heat it again. Yeah. So how's, what's going on there? Is it looking crispy? It's got a bit of crisp to it, but it's not like, yeah, it is crispy actually. Yeah, I don't, know, like, I don't know um, that we'll get it. We're not going to get it really crispy. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's got like the bottom of it is crispy. Yeah. Yeah. If you add just a dash of soy sauce now, it will help to caramelize a bit and help that. Yeah. I love adding soy just sauce. Just like a little bit. Yeah. My favorite part of making fried rice is like the sound it makes when the soy sauce goes in there. Oh, yeah. I love that frying, that sound. Uh, okay. Yeah. And then it can just, even if you just let it sit, maybe even a bit of lower heat, because it's going into more stuff. Okay. Um, cause it's, these keys, what were we doing with Oh them? yeah, well, I don't know if you care how things are cut, but I like, cause it's all going to go in a bowl. So I like it all to be similar in size. So it's easy to eat. So those snap peas, I just would cut similar to the way you did the pepper. Okay. <laughs> your, your cutting board looks micro size. <laughs> it's micro size. <laughs> I use this when I don't want to like wash the whole cutting board. Yeah. But I used to get mad at Steve for cutting things on the counter with a paper towel. Yeah, but then I taught her my method, and she actually does it to this day. You could just cut straight on the countertop. I don't think you'd see any marks. True. See? No, don't tell them that. She gets me. <laughs> I would advise that. It's just such a bad sound, too, when the knife hits the countertop. Yeah, they're like granite. <laughs> um, I'm assuming these are pre-washed, because... <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah. I would think. They look pretty washed. Uh, yes, and I. everyone was asking if I'm drinking. I'm drinking some wine. What was in your cup? Tea or whiskey? Oh, it was, <laughs> it was coffee because I actually passed out and took, like, an hour-long nap right before this. And I was like, oh, no, I don't, I don't want to be all, like, sleepy in my head. So I took – I drank some coffee so that I can drink some wine. You know, you got to go up to go down. Yep, nice. I feel like that's a good amount of veggie. I don't think there's really – Yeah. See how cute we are. We're like – so cute. <laughs> okay, so let's make a dressing. Okay, so we got some mayonnaise here. Yeah. We got some wasabi paste. Okay, my thoughts are this one can be made in a dish or a jar. Okay. We don't need to use a blender. Cool. Do we need like a big dish like this or do you think like a little side meat? I, I would use what's in your hand just because then it, you get a good amount of room to mix. Yeah. Okay. So put about um, three quarter cups of mayonnaise. Okay. Three quarter to one cup ish. Oh, she's got measuring cups, so you're good. Yeah. Okay. Is that rose? Yes. Delicious. I haven't had any rosé while in quarantine. This is my first bottle of rosé. Looks <laughs> great. Three quarters cup. I'm just going to eyeball it. Cause That's I'm fine. Yeah. Here. So you're You're okay. being bold. It's great. Yeah. Then, um, now, that wasabi paste, again, I don't know how you, do you like things really spicy? Steve does. I don't. So maybe less spicy, and then he can add his own spices later. It sounds good. So I feel like with wasabi, you want, like, a quarter teaspoon. Okay. Or what I would call, if you're squeezing it, like, <laughs> yeah, like that. That much? Okay. I don't want to touch it with that. Okay. Like the nail comes <laughs> in the nail comes in the Disgusting. <laughs> I washed my hands. 
Oh, that's amazing. Okay. <laughs> I even want to say a little bit more, but I don't want you to have it too spicy. So let's that's start. true. I, I think I can even go a little bit more. Yeah, I so much mayonnaise just a in little. Here. Yeah, just a titch, yeah. Come on, you. That, yeah, that looks Culture great. in it, man. What? The nail? <laughs> <laughs> no, put some culture in the mayonnaise. Oh, I see. Finally. And then uh, let's also add some of that garlic. Do you want fresh garlic or garlic powder? Like, I then, personally... I always go fresh garlic if I have the option. Okay, let's go fresh for the aioli, yeah. Okay. Or the dressing or whatever. One or two? I would say one to two. Again, more about your taste and how big the cloves are. Like, two of those tiny kind, yeah. Because raw garlic can be a little... Yeah. Intense. A little spicy. Yeah, so maybe... Now, do you have a crusher or are you going to cut that? I do have a crusher. Okay, I like the crusher. It makes Me it easy. too. And then we'll do lime juice. Lime juice. And I'm assuming you have onion powder because you make my recipes. Yes. So onion, a little bit, a little onion powder in there might be good too. We can always add more too if it doesn't feel like it's enough. Do you guys have a backyard? Have you been hanging outside during this whole thing? We do have a back patio. It was raining, if you remember. Yeah, a lot. For quite a while and every time I would um put the the cushions back out there they would get soaking wet again and so I was getting really annoyed and I'm like you better that sun better make its mind up and stay out here so I'm sick of getting pranked and it's doing that now like it's it's summertime here yeah it's like 90 right now yeah I'm here. okay you yes. said onion powder onion powder like Look at how many onion powders. We have like three onion powders because we never know if we have onion powder apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it goes absorb. Like a half teaspoon ish. Which is hard to tell in that shaker, but. Okay. March 26th. Oh, yeah. If it, gets, if it gets moisture in there, then it just turns into a solid piece of, of onion powder. <laughs> <laughs> True. Okay. Hold on. Let me be resourceful. Okay. Yeah, 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 like that. Okay. Boom. Going in. And uh, I guess we have to add a little bit of uh, salt, because I don't think the wasabi powder is salty. It's just Did I turn this, I turn this off? Oh, yeah. Okay, I can't tell. Is it, is it, does it look good, or does it look like it needs more? It's delicious. It looks pretty good. Okay, if you think, yeah. It's yeah. more, because it's hard for me to tell through the camera, if it's, but it's looking nice and brownish. Um, oh, and then and then half the lime. Oh, right. And oh, if lime. you want to try using the half of the rotten lime, because I would use that lime. For you would you would use that? It doesn't look, like, as long as it's not rotten on the inside, the outside sometimes. No, no. <laughs> rejected. But it's I never throw it, like it away. I just ignore. I just it looks like an acorn. <laughs> it's so brown. <laughs> no. Get out of my life. <laughs> All right, we got this beautiful line. Do you hear me? Shame. The lovely Shame. squeezer, too. You got the squeezer. It's my yes. favorite tool. <laughs> me, too. And we'll see. I feel it like a be... real chef every time I use this whisk. I, mean, I love whisks. Stirring some stuff up. I mean, that's like the I love kitchen utensils, so. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Look so, at this little baby one I got for Christmas. Oh, that's great. It's so cute for like little, um, you know, the, the fake eggs, the, the, with the egg powder and, you know, or, or even oh, flaxseed eggs. Egg. Yeah. Egg. yeah. Yeah. Just eggs. Yeah. Are you eating fully vegan now? Um, most, no, it's mostly vegan, but, uh, it, I, I do eat eggs sometimes, um, but very rarely. I don't really like cooking eggs or like dealing with eggs. So I, I use, um. Uh, egg replacement most yeah. of the time uh and then i technically eat pescatarian but mm -hmm. i don't really like cooking fish at home either, mm -hmm. so I'm, it's like mostly just plant-based all the way around at home when i'm cooking is the wasabi paste like like getting messy in? in i feel like we could add more let me just taste like a little yeah bit and of taste it too because you never know that stuff's so hot some pastes are not as hot as others too it's not spicy but it is flavorful very flavorful. So do you think it should have more wasabi? I think Steve would want more wasabi. Yeah. And it doesn't taste spicy at all, so I wouldn't. Okay. It doesn't. It wouldn't hurt me. And I imagine like it too, like imagine one. it with like all the rice and everything. Like it's got to come through like a bit of a kick. Yeah, I feel like this paste is less spicy than actual wasabi. The okay. flavors were really, really, really good. 
Oh yeah, Snickles joined the party. Hi! Yay! Hi, Snickles! That's <laughs> the funniest right now. I need to take a screen grab. Hi, Can we put Nikki on camera? Oh, there's a cat! Yeah! <laughs> Franklin! Look at it. Franklin's a mess, too. Dude, they made a mess over there. Holy cow. He takes after his mom. Uh, yes, right. wasabi is a horse, a Japanese horseradish, more or less, for people wondering. Mm, that's I think that's it. That's better? Okay. Yeah. And is it, it is it tangy enough? It is. It, oh, here, Steve, let me, just so you know, I'm not making stuff up. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Blinding light. Delicious. You like it? It's really good. Yeah, it's got a lot of flavor, right? Yeah. It's so good. It's not spicy, but it's good. But you can taste all the wasabi. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I like that. That's really what's good. interesting about wasabi is sometimes it's not even like spice. It's like wasabi. It's like such a unique yeah, taste. Yeah, the flavor. I love wasabi, uh, uh, what's it called? The seaweed snacks. Oh, yeah. Those are delicious. Yeah. But I feel like now we're at the stage where we can start kind of plating, but you got to microwave the rice for us. Right. Okay. And again, I have no clue what, how long, because I don't know your microwave, but we do want this to get warm and obviously nice, so... Okay, I would start maybe with two minutes. Okay. And let's pray that nothing bad goes. Stay his microwave. Be nice to Please, us. Please, microwave. Okay. Be good. Be good boy. Like, does it spark? Yes. Oh, yeah. Holy shit, really? I, I don't know science or... <laughs> don't get don't get smart microwaves, because I think that they don't want to be microwaves anymore, and they get self-aware. They're reincarnated into being microwaves? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're like AI, and they're like... They're exactly. Like evolving. Like, I don't want to be a microwave right now. <laughs> Uh, I was gonna say, if you want to find like a like a type of shallow like a pasta style bowl that you guys want to eat out of, yeah, that looks like a nice sushi bowl. Style. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for being such a good boy. Yeah, he did good. Yeah, maybe because we had water in the rice. Yeah, that's true. You did put water in there. Oh, and this feels pretty. Yeah, this is a nice texture. I see steam. Ooh. It's a great temperature. Mmm. It's really good. All right. Yeah. I, don't, I wouldn't add anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a plug. It's a testimonial. It's, I don't even know this person. I just found this book, okay? I just found it. <laughs> and it's great. Okay, so if you think the rice is good, then we can start plating. And it's going to cut us off in five minutes. So start plating, but then we'll come back for a taste test. So It's, it's a tease. You got to come back. I'm excited. This is the bummer about doing these is that I don't ever get to taste the food, but I always I know. <laughs> we'll be very honest, though. Yes, please be honest. Even if it's like, I, so far, you guys have been great. That yeah. looks good, yeah. That looks cool. Yeah. Oh, you know what would have been good, although it's fine? Shredded carrot. Oh, I don't think we have carrot. But That's that would have right. been, been good, like that little bit of crunch. Yeah, but we're filling it. Or like cucumber, like someone suggests. Cucumber's yeah. always nice and sushi, right? So That's true. Oh, the avocado. Oh, oh yeah. Whoops, avocado. Beautiful. Whoa, sushi bowl with tofu bites. Uh, should I drizzle first and then garnish? Yes. Garnish? Okay. okay. <laughs> Look at how beautiful this is going to be. Oh, my God. We're not missing anything. We got tofu, avocado. Yeah, we got it. I don't have a drizzler. Oh. God, I'm so oh. I need a drizzler. Oh, you're so cute. Is it too thick to go? Like, if you do yeah. have a spoon and you fling it back and forth, is it too thick? It's too. It's too thick to drizzle for oh. sure. Here, wait. <laughs> do this. <laughs> well, you know what? You signed up for a Nikki Limo collab. <laughs> <laughs> we are trash. Yep. And like, I can already tell you're gonna want so much more dressing, but. <laughs> we want it to be pretty. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Whose is this? Yours? Or this is like a Jason Pollock. <laughs> will, Steve, <laughs> will Steve's be bigger than this? This is or this gonna be Steve's. There's a lot of like rice on the bottom. Okay, okay. But I kind of try to make it have these. I feel like you're making an N. It looks like an N for Nikki on there. You know what? I don't know what you're talking about. This is branded, you man. That? Subtle branding. No, <laughs> Very subtle. Yeah, love it. Oh, it, what, give some black ones too. Put some black ones yes. on there. Beautiful love it. Black babies. 
And I felt like just putting the seaweed into the rice was going to get it more palatable and soft as opposed to like some people might put like seaweed and cut it and put it on top, but I just liked it mixing. Yeah, it. I like it soft. It yes. Looks, it, it looks and tastes really good. And then you don't notice it and it kind of gives the rice more flavor. So, oh yeah, pickled ginger would have been great. Someone suggested. Oh, we do have, what do we have? We have like a kimchi. Do we have kimchi in my line? We have fermented chili paste. I mean, you could add that as like if Steve wants more heat, but no, I mean, like I have a jar of like sushi ginger. Yeah, we don't have ginger. Fridge, but that's like a whole. We have... Ginger Which is actually, things. now that I'm realizing, I didn't put the sushi ginger on my sushi bowl. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Wait, what was that squeeze bottle? <laughs> it's ginger syrup for drinks. It oh. tastes really good in cocktails. I would recommend. Yeah. If okay, you, but okay, pina coladas, you don't think, like, add ginger, but do it. No, because that would make them way less, like, sugary. Yeah, but it, yeah, it just works. Yeah, I, don't I like what, that idea. I don't know how, I don't question it. So if this good. was Tasty Tuesday, you'd just make that for, for, uh, for one bowl, and then... And then I'd make a sloppy ass Yeah, the version. sloppy version for me. <laughs> okay, do it. Do no, it how you do it. nice one. No, Let's do great. it like Tasty Tuesday. Okay, Steve always gets a nice one, because that's the one I put on camera. Yeah, true, yeah. And yeah, that's, like, mine. the nicest version of it. Okay. It looks great. Wait, hold it like that, Steve. I'm going to take a screen grab. Okay. Great. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Okay, and then, oh, we just ran the dishwasher. We're gonna have bowls. We have more viewers in the second half, so people don't even know what we did. Oh, <laughs> you, you know what? We pushed ourselves back up to the front of the live streamers. Because so many people are live streaming now because of the whole quarantine thing. I like the meme that's like, for the love of God, or no, it's not for love of God. It just says, you do not need to live stream during quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's so bored, especially the extroverts. They're so bored. That's me. They don't get to see people. Are you guys more extroverted or introverted? I'm introvert and he is extrovert. I'm a huge extrovert, so I really hate to be alone. And I love it. Yeah, I love, I love it too. I know, dude, Lauren, I feel like we're into so many similar things. Like I got a crystal collection. I love Bali. I love cats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a I, think, I think it's first when you're a girl and you like cats that takes away 50% of the thing because yeah like, true true <laughs> there's like there is such a like Venn diagram or what is it called the Venn you nailed it yeah Venn diagram. diagram of like cat ladies also like all of these other things <laughs> plant ladies are cat ladies yep. yeah yeah. Although I'm more of a new plant lady, definitely from being down here, because it's hard to keep indoor plants alive in Canada, like in Toronto, so. Oh, right. I always yeah. forget that. And I always forget that, like, East Coast people don't have fruits year-round. Like, they have seasons for fruit. Yeah. Because we always have fruit, all fruits, all the time. Yeah, like, you don't know what it's like to see an orange tree growing in someone's yard for the first time, where it's like, holy shit, like, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, I did not know how spoiled I was. We went to New York for the first time when I was, like, 22, and I was like, where are all the fruits and avocados? And I don't understand this place. Okay, I'm making mine pretty, too. Yeah, we'll see. Mine, <laughs> mine's like this. <laughs> and then Steve might have to put, like, extra wasabis on his. Yeah, yeah. he probably will. And you can put sriracha if you want it after you taste it. Oh, I yeah. will. I always have to make him not put on extra seasoning until after he tastes things because he always tries to put on pepper and Tabasco on everything. Yeah, I yeah, and I don't hate on anyone that does that, but it's true. You have to taste it in its real state because then you're yeah. basically just adding other forms of ketchup on top of things. Like, right. You have to cayenne taste pepper's not no ketchup. <laughs> I mean, it's pear. kind of like a, it's more of like a, it is kind of a ketchup. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Because then that's all you taste, I feel like. Just yeah, like exactly. Thank you. No. Okay, mine's not going to be as pretty. But it's going to be But way it's pretty pretty, I would say, considering. Yeah, exactly. Look at all those colors. Did you add tofu? <gasps> no, that's what, I, that's what I missed. I couldn't say it. Oh, man. What, you're a dick. No, why? Wait, what? <laughs> I told you I was going to interfere. <laughs> I'm getting more tofu now. Oh, oh wait, I want more. Okay, I guess you just finished that tofu up. Yes. Wait, did you say the tofu was, I know we keep plugging this thing, but did you say it was from the, the... Yeah, yeah, it was from that, and they didn't even tell me what ingredients I was getting. I didn't have to even think about it. I didn't have to select from a list. I just told them my diet, and they they sent everything. 
including the Kite Hill dairy-free ravioli that I love. I mean, somebody better be getting a Hungry Roots sponsorship <laughs> in your <laughs> future. <laughs> I wanted to test it without, like, you know, reaching out for sponsorship because I feel like yeah. people don't know if you're being honest. So um, I like to test it out first to make sure that I like things. And, yeah, it's, it's uh, so far so good. It, uh, this is the first day that we've had it, though. So we get to taste it. Taste, taste, taste. Like here we go sushi we're calling it a sushi bowl but it's i like want to get bowl. like one of everything in here yeah i mean that's why like we do end up just messing it all up anyway yeah all right this is a pretty good bite wow that sauce is killer it's so good i don't think i've ever made a sauce like that because i've never bought that paste it's so good please can i can, please you need to taste this this is so good thank you be your best self. All right, what's up? Iceman checking in. Here we go. What, is, what happened here? What Did someone cry on yeah, you? Yeah, you cry on me. <laughs> True story, actually. Uh, it just doesn't come out It's sustained, and not recently. Wow. This is it. This is always your concentration base. That is so bomb. It's so good. Dang, dude. Dude, yeah, sauce is I never would have thought to do this. I'm just like, okay, rice, maybe fried rice with... Soy sauce, I put. I usually do like garlic, onion, soy sauce, and that's pretty much it. But this oh, is yeah. like a that's next level. For sure. Green, on green onions would have been nice on top too, but. Mm -hmm. Oh, true. We're out of green onions. Yeah, but what can you do? So it's Dude, tasty. A, it's so can't, good. I can't, I can't ding, 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 ding. It's tasty. I know, right? That's our biggest problem is yeah. that we don't know. I look, I'll buy mm -hmm. stuff, but I don't know like how to make it. Yeah. But do you think, this is the question that keeps coming up in this sort of thing that I'm doing, is that, like, do you think with more, pra like, I feel like you have a lot of practice, and you don't think that it's, yeah. like, it's, like, getting to the point where you could, or no? You're still kind of... Yeah, no, it is getting to the point where I could. Um, I've, I've done a couple recipes on Taste of Tuesday that, like, I just thought of, like, ooh, would that taste good together? But it definitely doesn't come secondhand uh, yet. And yeah. especially when adding things like, um, like sesame oil or the rice vinegar like I don't know the amount to put mm -hmm. in or recently I just did a recipe on Tasty Tuesday from Bosch and it was apple pie tacos and they added cornstarch whisked with um water I would never have known to do that no. to my apples yeah because then otherwise you get lumps of cornstarch where you need to like make a slurry and then add yeah it. well I wouldn't even think to add cornstarch I just didn't I would be like apple cinnamon right that's a little right. more complex, though, because you wouldn't know, if, if you didn't have experience, you wouldn't know that the apples are going to release water, so you need to, like, thicken it with a thickener, like, more so. Like, that's definitely right. more advanced. But I think yeah. the thing that keeps coming up is, like, how to make a sauce from scratch where you're just sort of whipping it together, where it's, like, balancing things, like, the salt, the fat, the acid, the heat, basically, like, those four things. Like, I think that's where people get really stuck. And it's so yeah. hard for me to, like, it's so hard for me to, like, backtrack and be like, well... I mean, that's why I make recipes, but, like, I guess it just takes a lot of hours to finally just go, okay, okay, okay. And I think and, like, definitely tasting things along the way, because yeah. the only thing I can relate it to is cocktails. I'm really good at making cocktails. Yes. I'm good at, like, putting those flavor combinations together and knowing, like, when something might need more lime juice or more pineapple juice or um, a, a different liqueur or something like that. So I think just being able to taste it along the way and knowing the – approximate amounts of different ingredients that go that typically go into a recipe mm -hmm. like that helps to like as a starting point so like in a cocktail you would always put like 1.5 ounces to start of the main spirit and I feel like um you know when you're adding a tablespoon of oil a tablespoon is like something that's a, like a, a good jumping off yeah. point for things yeah I think that that I, that's how it's starting to come together for me what about if you're totally food dumb like me and you're like why would I use rice wine vinegar when I could just use vinegar? Oh, yeah. Yeah, That's see, like, much. I think it's like rice vinegar is just more of an Asian profile. It has more of a fermented quality. Like, it's like that, it's fermented from rice, so it, it just goes with, like, that type of that dish. Makes sense. So it's more just like, sure, you could have used regular vinegar in a pinch, but it might be a bit, and then it would be too vinegary, so you'd vinegary, have to use yeah. less. You'd have to use That's less more for, Do you think that that would be more for, like, a, an Italian dish, like a... Like if you're making a like a pasta sauce. 
Yeah, and I mean, white vinegar is very like utilitarian. Like it's just for pickling, and like I hardly ever use it in recipes. I'll always oh. use apple cider over white vinegar, just because apple cider vinegar has like more nutritional benefit and like has sure. has just a better flavor. Whereas white vinegar is almost like it's just so astringent. Yeah, you. I mean, we use it for cleaning a lot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I just used it to um, kill a bunch of bugs on my patio. <laughs> True. So. Bunch. That is true. It is very Yeah, true. so like I rarely ever use it in like a sauce unless it's like absolutely like, but it, in my case, I just like always have five vinegars, but not everyone does. So like in some cases you can swap it out, but you have to be careful of the amount. It's not always the same amount, but. Yeah. I but it is, in, it's interesting. Is the amount of things. Yeah. It's just interesting to kind of like hear from people like what, where they get stuck and whatever. And it's like, I don't know, I guess I'm kind of doing research too. Like, how can I make this easier for people or. Yeah. Just talk to people who are dumb like me and I'll, I'll hook you up. <laughs> How long have you been cooking? All your life? I've been cooking, yeah, all my life. But then going vegan 10 years ago is when it got, like, more serious. Because you're, like, creating, you're creating, like, other foods from, from like, plant stuff. Yeah, and you and you – it was because I found I was, like, eating a bunch of stuff that was so bland. And I was like – how am I going to make this better? So that's when I started experimenting with adding like dried spices and vinegars and different things like that. Truthfully. And I always, I do say this in interviews, but it's like watching triple D with Guy Fieri. Like <laughs> it actually taught me how to make a sauce because when you watch them do it in the restaurant, you're like, Holy crap, they're adding like 20 things to the blender. And it got me thinking differently. Cause I think, as people who don't necessarily maybe grow up with like a Nona or like someone who's cooking like all the time from scratch, you're like, what do I put in a sauce? But I think yeah. watching, watching Triple D, you saw people making restaurant quality food and you realize how much goes into that and how much, how much flavor has to go into that to make it tasty, that that's just how I started to think. And I, you know, honestly, and I don't know if it's because I got spoiled by trying your recipes first and like other people that had good vegan recipes already, but we actually feel like vegan food, it, it tastes better than our diets before because they have to put so much thought into the spices that go in there. It's just a lot more flavorful. Yeah, where I think in regular cooking, like omnivore, like you're relying on the fat from the meat or the skin from yeah. seafood. And dairy is such a, dairy is such a like lazy way to rely on making something because you don't, it already has like a fermented or sourness to it and it, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and I think some people skip over adding other flavors because they're just like, well, it's, it's got, it's all there. Like we get used to thinking that way. True. Yeah. And I guess also it helped that I had no prior cooking knowledge at all. So I had only been doing Tasty Tuesday. Tasty Tuesday started as an experiment, like where I was just blogging. It was originally on my blog channel where I was just trying to see if I could learn how to cook just from a res just from recipes. And I had only been cooking for like a year before um, trying a plant-based diet. So it went, it was kind of a good transition from not very many spices and stuff to like slowly transitioning into making yeah. it flavorful. And now basically are you, you're doing them all with vegan stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I want you guys to eat your dinner and not for it to get This is it. so good. It's really good. I need to like emphasize. It's I've, not... I've been left-handed eating it as we're yeah, yeah. talking. <laughs> Trying to like keep dropping food and yep. like trying not to yep. lose the phone as he's dropping. I've been killing it. And how much dressings left? Um, there's like there's like quite a bit. So like I mean not too much that like you would have to store it, but that's it's going like, in. That's yeah, I feel like, like you guys could use that up, more, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's going in for sure. But you know what's amazing is like we have this huge big vat of vegan mayonnaise, of this mayonnaise, and I never know what to do with it. Like I, it's just been sitting there because one recipe called for it for it like a month ago or two months ago and then it just i'm just like i don't know what to do with this like it's just well, mayonnaise open up the back of that cookbook and there's like yeah. eight mayonnaise based sauces in there. oh wow really yeah so now you can just i mean i make every almost every single this cookbook sauce that found? yeah that one that you found there's What's it like called? a vegan comfort classic <laughs> There's a bunch of mayonnaise-based aiolis and sauces in the back. I turned right to that page. And you have, yeah, and you have that everything. Is photography. <laughs> you have everything in your cupboard to make all that stuff. That's amazing. Wow. 
I didn't even, I guess I didn't really look at the sauces because I was just following like recipes. I had like bookmarked recipes that I wanted to try yes. out, but I didn't like really look at all the sauces and stuff. Yeah, no, the yeah, sauces. I bookmarked this. This looks amazing. Whoa, that's that out first. Oh, dang. Uh. Okay, when, you're, <laughs> when you take that picture, are you making that stuff all day long? Yeah. Whoa. Well, cool. she had, um, didn't you have like assistant cooks or something? I remember when you were, when you were writing the book and you would post like different pictures and behind the scenes stuff. Well, that book I pretty much did alone. Oh, okay. Yeah, like that photo is me. Unbelievable. Wait, with, like, wow. the camera's on The camera's on a tripod and then the camera's uh, tethered to my iPhone. What? And then like, my hand's wow. going like in the frame and then I'm going like this with the tether phone, like trying to take the photo. Incredible. This is like, kind of amazing. I didn't do that for the new cookbook that comes out next year. Like I got a, I, I I like hired an assistant uh and, and a photographer to help me. So yeah. Those were wow. taken those... by those were taken by my photographer Vanessa, who actually did some of the ones like the but the portraits and stuff. Yeah. Dope, though. Wow. You can't do a cookbook without pictures. No way. Oh, well no, there'd be like no point. Ugh. That's it everything is... at my grandma's house though. All those cookbooks have no pictures. They have a picture on the front and a picture on the back. Yeah. True. Yeah, it's Sorry. actually insane that the old school cookbooks had no photos. Like, Joy of Cooking has not one photo. It has no joy. It has a better and has no joy. <laughs> There'd be a photo every, like, ten recipes. There'd be a photo. Yeah. I can't do that. Everything has to have a photo. Yeah, it looks, it definitely sells it. Where I'm like, I need to make that and put it in my body now. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, well. Thank you so much for this was so us. fun. Thanks for inviting us on. It was super fun. And maybe when things go back to usual, we can do I feel like you should teach me how to make we should do like cocktail making in real life. Yes. Because I actually uh, don't really know how to make cocktails. To hit all of my weak points because that sounds amazing. Yeah, you could teach me cocktails because I don't really know. I just do like the shot and the mixer. You'd be That's so good at it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. She's me. No. She's 100% me. See, that, to me, I'm like, oh, that's how I am cooking. I'm like, okay, salt, pepper. <laughs> that's what that she, sounds she's like. She's me. She's 100% me. I'm cooking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. True. True. Yeah. yeah you, must have, like, you must have a bar and, like, a bunch of stuff we can use. And stuff. No, no, no. We, we really don't drink right yeah. now. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm coming over. We're going to do cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. And then, yeah, we'd love to have you on the podcast or whatever. So you're in LA now, so it's awesome. Okay, well, like, let's stay in touch. This was the first time we've ever actually chatted IRL because we were emailing about this and DMing. But, like, thank you for making this happen because this was super fun. And, of course. Um, this was so fun. Yeah. And I definitely learned a lot. Good. I'm glad. And, yeah, you can remake that wasabi sauce. And I'm glad that you didn't go for, like, the things that would have been – easier in my head like um pasta and then sauce or whatever um because i wouldn't have thought to make a whole meal from that leftover rice cool so well, like heated it up great yeah no i'm glad that's i mean that's what my favorite thing is to see people's takeout and be like how can we like use this again but make it different yeah i love that this okay. is awesome thanks oh. nikki thanks steve thanks, lauren thank you lauren Say okay, bye. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, what do you guys been reporting out? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was tasty. It was very tasty. Sorry, Yay. I didn't talk to any of you guys in the comments, but like, yeah, leave me comments. Appreciate you guys. In my they, yeah, all the guys in the all. all the guys in the comments were awesome. Yeah, sorry we didn't, but they were all shouting you out and Iceman and everything. And uh, <laughs> you guys are dope. We love you. Appreciate all right, you guys. Bye. bye, guys. Bye, y'all. Thanks bye, for watching. Lord. See ya.